Hello, gang. We made it through another week. We have made it through to another final on House of Games. And what a final it's going to be. We've had three different champions this week. Only one of them can walk away with this trophy right here. Who is it going to be? I cannot wait for today. Kimberly Nixon, <laughs> Rachel Fairburn, <laughs> Trevor Nelson, <laughs> and Des Clark. Hello, everyone. Hi. Three separate winners. <gasps> Des, you won yesterday. Yeah. Short walk home with Absolutely. the prize, with the dartboard. <laughs> uh, and you've got some momentum coming into today's Double Points Friday. It feels that way. I feel like, you know, I celebrated last night by buying a roll neck jumper. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I live. It's um, looking good. But it was nice. I don't feel that we could do this show in Glasgow, and as a Glaswegian, I didn't win at least one. Exactly. You did yesterday. Trev. Has anyone ever won from Hackney? Has anyone from Hackney ever won? Ever won. Such a good question. I've been told 49 people from Hackney have won. <laughs> here, so it's... Uh... <laughs> but listen, you've got a chance. It's a, you've I'm, been close listen, a couple I'm, of times. I'm, I'm going to be the spoiler today. I'm out to spoil. Lovely. Yeah? That's, you know what? What a lovely ambition. <laughs> uh, Trev, shall we take a little look at the weekly leaderboards? We should. Because we have three separate winners, and here's how they stand. Kimberly up the top there with 13, Rachel 11, Des 10. Eight points for a win here. So, listen, Kimberly, you're in pole position, but it's it is old. absolutely not nailed on. Um, Rachel, what are you thinking? Well, on Tuesday, if you win today, you are almost certainly going to have a share, at least, of that trophy. Wow. I mean, it's overwhelming. Yes, it's, it isn't. Is. It's dream come true stuff. It, it is, yeah. Kimberly, you want it, right? I want it bad. Yeah, you want it bad. I think everyone wants it bad, Trev, don't you? I, I'm just glad to be here. Yeah. <laughs> and also, Trev, you could win today. I could, could It'd be nice I? to have all four people having a daily win. You definitely could. I could win today. If you do, here are the prizes yeah. up for grabs. There's the umbrella, Ooh. the Russian doll, the tote bag, the pasta maker, and the wheelie <laughs> luggage. Trev, if oh. you were to uh, take something back to Hackney, what would it be? Wheelie luggage. Yeah. Wheelie luggage. It's actually of practical, um, and I would use it, and no one would ever steal that. Practical and stylish. Yeah. There's what would you go for? I am with the wheelie luggage. Yeah, all the wheelie. Way. Rachel? It'd have to be the luggage. Luggage, yeah. Kimberly? Wheelie luggage. Wheelie luggage. Hello, we've got ourselves a little luggage off. <laughs> So trophy and luggage up for grabs. What a brilliant week of quizzing it's been. I have no idea who's going to win this. Whoever does win it is going to earn it. That I do know. Let's find out, shall we, as we play our first round, which is... The answers in the question. I'm going to go along the line, ask you each a question. Your first category is... US states. Within the question, some of the answer will be in capital letters, and your answer is an anagram of those capital letters. So the answer will be within the clue itself. Kimberly, here's yours. In the unlikely event that the Sunshine State doesn't live up to its name, you could always stay in your hotel and dial for some room service. Um, oh, well, Sunshine State, it's got to be Florida. Florida? Absolutely, good start. Well played, Kimberly. Rachel, here we go, a US state for you. If you visit this state and spot an LA icon, Fair enough. There are a few about. Uh, oh, uh, California. California. Anagram of LA Icon Fair. Absolutely, California. Well done, well done Trevor Nelson. Big Friday. <laughs> Here we go. Good luck, Trevor. Here's a US state for you. If you had visited Graceland in this state in 1977, you would have seen teens mourning the loss of Elvis Presley. Looks like Tennessee to me. It looks like Tennessee to me as well. Is it Tennessee? <laughs> Absolutely right. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> There's Clark. Here's a US state for you. <laughs> in terms of population, this state in the South Central US ranks as a relatively small one, being home to around three million people. Um, I didn't know its population, but based on the letters, is it Arkansas? Arkansas? Must yeah. be, mustn't it? Absolutely right. Well done. Arkansas. And we return to Kimberley. Different category now for your question. OK. We're looking for British sitcoms, OK? A group of hobbyists try to protect their valuable secrets. Ditto their rivals, unfortunately. 
I'm going to go with detectorists. Detectorists? Is the correct answer. Well done. Well done. Five out of five all of a sudden. <laughs> Rachel, a British sitcom for you. One of the title characters must have wished she'd known this in advance. Staying with the in-laws can be stressful. Uh... Oh. It's a British sitcom. Gavin and Stacey. Gavin and Stacey. Ah. Well done. A nice that was hard. That was really hard. That yeah. was a hard one. That is a tough one. Trevor, a British sitcom for you. Make it an 80s one. With their husbands in jail, two sisters have to handle their own affairs, bothered frequently by neighbour Dorian. Pauline Quirk, Linda Robson. Yeah. <laughs> Birds of a feather. Birds of a feather? Yes. Well played, Trevor. There's one for you. Can we get eight out of eight on this round? With such precocious kids, no wonder their frazzled parents deem burnout to be a significant risk. Oh, no. Outnumbered. Outnumbered. Oof. Well played, Dares. Nicely played. That's nice, eight out of eight. Well played, everybody. That's the end of that round. Here's the leaderboards. Everyone's a winner, two Aww, points each. Okay. Well done, everybody. So just four rounds to go now to find our champion. Our final pairs game of the week is going to be... Toast Emoji. So the player in last place gets to choose their partner. That is everybody. <laughs> Des, as yesterday's champion, who would you like to choose? <sighs> That's a big choice. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what, Trevor? Yeah, listen. We've had a great week together. If you're going to go down, go down fighting, right? <laughs> you should have gone Rachel. You should have gone Rachel. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor and Dez are a team. Rachel and Kimberly, you are a team. Now, before the show, you all sent me the name of a children's book, but you are only allowed to use emojis. You have now got to guess the children's book that your partner sent to me. So, Kimberly? Yes. Before the show? Yes. Rachel had to send me the name of a children's book. Mm -hmm. Could be the title, mm -hmm. could be the plot, whatever it is, but she's only allowed to use emojis. So, can you tell me which children's book this is, please? Um, that it, it has to be Wind in the Willows. Is it Wind in the Willows? It is, yeah. Well played. It's Wind in the Willows. Very nice of you. Yeah, Ratty, Toad. Uh, and the wind. And the yes, wind. Of course. And just the wind. Um, well done if you got that one at home as well. Nicely played, both of you. Trevor, <laughs> before the show, Des sent me the name of a children's book using just emojis. Okay. Sorry, mate. Here is Des's children's book. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. good. There are two cars yeah. and there are two stars. Just, just think it through. I'm looking at two cars and two stars, yeah. so I'm just thinking... No, there's, a, there's definitely a single word which unlocks this... Uh, OK. ..unlocks this one. And it's children's book. Yeah. Should we but... time you out? Sorry, there's... I don't know the name of this children's book. We don't give a point, but would you know that one? Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Chitty Chitty oh. Bang Bang. It's the right answer. It's, it's, it's elegant, isn't it? Yeah. As soon as you get car, bang, bang. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Car, I car, ba yeah, car, car, bang, bang. That. I know that. Car, car, chitty, bang, bang. Chitty, bang. Sorry. No, what, no, no worries. Sorry. Nice clue. Uh, well done if you got that at home. Um, Rachel, mm -hmm. before the show, Kimberly sent me uh, <laughs> the title of a children's book. Using just emojis, but which children's book is it? <gasps> ah. um... Is it Matilda? Is it Matilda? It is Matilda. Is it Matilda? Wow. Is he? Oh, Chocolate cake, <laughs> Miss Honey. Yeah, Miss Honey. The, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, Miss Honey, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I went in deep. Yeah, yeah. that's good. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. And very quickly got as well. Well done at home if you got that one. Matilda, well played. A good team. Been a good team all week. We're continuing that now. Des. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Trevor sent me the name of a children's book <laughs> using just emojis. Here we go. Let's take a look. What is that? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It is. Yeah. 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 I think you've both done lovely uh, bang on. That's... Yeah. 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 It's what it on the, the tin. Trevor. On the tin. Okay. Is it the king's nose? Oh. 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 <laughs> that is going to go down as unlucky. <laughs> what? 
What have I done? That is unlucky. I'm so sorry, Des. Would you know that one? Queen's nose. The Queen's oh. nose is the that's answer. A, that's the a Queen's, Queen's nose. Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. surely. No, it's uh, fine. No, this, listen, great clue, great guess as well, if you don't know the book. The Queen's nose, well done oh. if you got that one at home. We both did well, but we, we both got it wrong. Yeah, do you know exactly. what? I've never seen a team do so well and get zero. <laughs> that's why we needed to mix it <laughs> up, yeah, so exactly. the girls oh, would have got it, man. Uh, they, they very well stuff. played. Everybody, let's take a look at what yeah. that's done to the scores. It's going to be good news down this end of the studio. I suspect less good at the far end of the studio. They've been neck and neck all week. They're a main neck and neck. Kimberly and Rachel with four points each. Trevor and Des, you have two points each. Mm. Three rounds away <laughs> from giving away a piece of luggage <laughs> and a piece of silverware. <laughs> That's what we're playing for. Uh, uh. Round three today is... <laughs> Games House of. So I'm going to ask you some questions. You have to give me the answers in alphabetical order. Trevor, if I asked your name, you would say Nelson Trevor. Yes. OK. So here we go. Fingers on buzzers, please. Buzzers, fingers on. Answer me this in alphabetical order. Whoopi Goldberg played a singer named Dolores in which 1992 film co-starring Maggie Smith? <laughs> yes, that's Kimberly. Act sister. Act sister. <laughs> Correct. Sister act becomes act sister. Next one. The General Assembly and the Security Council are two of the main bodies of which international organisation founded in 1945? Yes, that is Des. <laughs> A-N-O-T? A-N-O-T? Oh. Incorrect. Yes, Trevor. Nations United. Nations United. United Nations. Well played, Trevor. Next one. Who is this? Yes, Kimberly. Close Glenn. Close Glenn? It is Close Glenn. Well done. Next one. What is the title, please, of this song? The paintings on the tomb. Yes, there's. An Egyptian lake walk. An Egyptian light walk? That's the right answer, Des. Well done. An Egyptian light good. walk. Uh, walk like an Egyptian by Bangles the. Um, <laughs> well done. Next question. The basketball team, the New York Knicks, play their home games at which venue? Trevor. It's um, Garden Madison Square. It's Garden Madison Square. Absolutely right. Well done. Well Madison done. Square Garden becomes Garden Madison Square. Next question. What is the title of this song? Oh. Oh. Yes, Trevor. Don't. No, that's obviously the hook. Yeah. Don't you want don't, the yeah. don't me you want. It's incorrect, no, it's Trevor. Not called that so anyway. Sorry. I know it's not called that. Kimberly. <laughs> Baby. That's incorrect, I'm Don't afraid. <laughs> yes, Des. Don't <laughs> me want you. Don't me want oh. you is the answer. Well done, Des. <laughs> Don't you want me by Human League? Next question. David Frost presented which 1960s BBC satire programme that was also known as TW3? I mean, Des, good luck. Here we go. <laughs> that, that, the... Yeah. <laughs> ..was... ..was... ..weak? It's the right answer, oh, Des. Oh, well played. The wrong, the wrong order. That, that, the, was, was weak. <laughs> Nicely done. That was the weak that was. Final question in this round. Port Moresby is the capital of which island country in the Pacific? Yes, Kimberly. Guinea, New Papua. Guinea, New Papua. Well played, Kimberly. Papua New Guinea. Guinea I was like, NOP, NOP. <laughs> well played, everyone, in that round. That was That's terrific stuff. Let's take a look at what it's done to our scores with just two rounds to go, two rounds before we give away our trophy. 
Trevor, Rachel, four points each. Des, you got five. Kimberly, seven points. <laughs> Two rounds to go. Two point lead. Let's go straight into round four. It's going to be. Where is Kazakhstan? If you take your tablets out, please. Oh. Uh. I'm gonna <laughs> hooray! Uh, I'm gonna show you a map. It's a map of Europe. I'm going to ask you to find a series of things on the map, and whoever is closest scores a point. This is the first thing I would like you to find. Rovaniemi, the capital of the region of Lapland. Uh, oh. Where is Lapland, essentially, and the capital of Lapland? Has anyone been? I've been. Have you been? <gasps> it's amazing. Is it magic? Is it great? Oh. Yeah. Santa remembered me and everything. No <laughs> way. Did you get a present? I did. I got mittens. Oh, oh. No. Yeah. How lovely. Yeah. Uh, seriously. Are you, you seeing him again? Hmm? <laughs> 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 We're still in touch. Yeah. What do you think at home here? Where's Lapland? Have you been to Lapland? OK, here we go. Where is Lapland? Have a little point at the screen if you know where it is. If you've been there, you lucky things. Kimberly, what are you thinking? Isn't there, like, two parts of Lapland? Like, there's the... The, I think so. Like it's the, in different the, countries. Like the it? Finnish yeah. and the and the um... like Swedish or something or Norwegian. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm nodding along for. I've got a twin, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm, that's right. Yes, no, but I think it's yeah. I think it's sort of a shared region. So I, yeah. I've I've gone sort of on the border. Okay, let's take a look at where you are. Sort of Finland, Swedenish. You are there, Rachel. Yeah, what are maybe you thinking I think here? I've done the wrong. I, I went for a very similar sort of area. Top coast of Norway there. Trevor, what are you thinking? Yeah, I've been to everywhere in Scandinavia apart from Lapland. OK. So what <laughs> I've ended up... I see where Norway is. Sweden is the big landmass and, and Finland, but I've gone just ab above those two. OK. Sort That's, of very north but... That but feels yeah, Norway like still. remote enough. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Des, you've been there? Where did you go? Well... You know when you're on a journey on a plane and they have the map up? Yeah. Uh, and then you think, I'll just play with my phone instead. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't pay attention, but I thought in my head, wouldn't it be great if all the other guests had put three marks around it and I just magically found one right in the middle? There it is, right in the middle. Oof. Lovely. What do we think at home on this one? I mean, it's a close one, isn't it? If Father Christmas is watching, and he does sometimes, especially when it's not, you know, busy time for him, <laughs> He will be like, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's all good. He'll also be going, is that Des Clark? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Des? Oh, yeah, I gave him some... Mm, remember Des? I gave him some mittens. <laughs> yeah. He demanded sitting on my lap. That's what, when, when my knee trouble started. Yeah, oh, Des. Oh. Des Clark. Yeah. Do you know what? I knew I recognised him. <laughs> that's him talking to Mr. Yeah. Claus. Yeah. Shall we have a look where it is and who's won the point? Oh, no. Northern one. Finland and Kimberley. Oh, no. You are the closest. That that's one. nice. More I would have gone judgment. further north. I would have gone as north as I possibly could. But uh, very well done. Next question. Can you find this, please? The football stadium known as the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. Uh, <sighs> Where is that, please? Oh, gosh. Everyone's in. Um, Rachel, do you know the answer to this? I've gone for somewhere in Spain. It sounds Spanish, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yep, northern Spain. Trevor, where is this place? Well, I know it's landlocked, that's for sure. OK. Um, because it's in Madrid. Madrid. But where is Madrid? I've gone bang central Spain. Yeah, it yep, feels... Very like... central. So everyone's in Spain so far. Des, you in Spain? Yep, Real Madrid. And so I've gone as near the centre as I could get. Ooh. Oh, how about that? Kimberly, did you know this one? I had no idea. I, I guessed Spain, and I've gone just a little bit south of everyone. So we're mid-Spain, northern Spain, southern Spain. Let's find out, shall we? Where is the Bernabeu? It's in Madrid, but where is that? Oof. Yeah, I'm going to give you both a point for that, gents, Trevor, and uh, it would be a bit churlish. Uh, mathematically, they could probably work out who was closest, <laughs> but it, well it would seem a little harsh. Absolutely, it's in Madrid. Very well played. Next question in this round. The birthplace <laughs> of astronomer Nicolaus Copernicus. Please, finally, an easy one. 
Where is he from then, Richard? Where is he from? Well, that's <laughs> very much the question, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. He's an astronomer. I'm trying to go off his surname, trying to see if that's a clue. Hmm. Mm. Have you got any clue on this one at home? <sighs> Everyone in? Trevor, you know Copernicus? No, I don't, but he, he seems to have a real old school, oldie whirly name from Latin times. I went for somewhere near where I think Greece might be <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let's take a look I've somewhere near. Somewhere. Let's I don't find know out, if that is Greece. Let's find out where Trevor thinks Greece is. He thinks it's in exactly the right place. <laughs> you are in Greece there. Well done. OK, well, that's. What so I if it's Greece, you're laughing. Des, any clue on this one? I don't know the man. Huh? I'm, not, uh, I'm not acquainted with. Uh, where Nicholas Copernicus is wow. from. So I just thought... It sounds good in a Glaswegian accent, though. It <laughs> does, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe he's Glaswegian. <laughs> Maybe he is, yeah. I just said Italy. Absolutely. So we've got Greece and Italy. Kimberly, any clue here? I think I've gone for Turkey. I don't Take know. Take a look at where you are. Have I? You are, yep. Just inside, just in Turkey, kind of uh, near Istanbul. Um, Rachel, <laughs> did you have a, a clue on this one? I was thinking Greece. But then I just went for Italy. So we're Italy, we're northern Italy, we are Greece and we are Turkey. So Copernicus, he was from the olden days, uh, <laughs> he was born in Tironia. Mm. So the question you have to ask yourself is where is Tironia? <laughs> it's not in Greece. And, and am I near it? No. Tironia is in Poland. Wow. And Rachel, you get yourself a point well. there by being in northern <laughs> Italy. Wow. <laughs> Well done if you were close to Poland at home. Nicely done. Well played, Rachel. Never go that extreme. Final question in this round. Can you find me this? The seat of the International Court of Justice. Where is the International Court of Justice? OK, here we go. Final question of the round. What have you got at home? Des, what were you thinking here? I don't know this, but I keep associating that with The Hague. Yeah. Which I think is in Netherlands. I don't know where the Netherlands is, but I thought... You are... Well, the Netherlands are right there. <laughs> there you go. That's the good news. That's the Netherlands. Um, Kimberly, what were you thinking? I didn't know. I think the European mm. courts of justice kept coming, so I, I've kind of gone with that. I think I should have gone more Scandinavian, but I think I've gone with Belgium. Yeah, kind of Brussels-y. Yeah. Yeah. Rachel, what were you thinking? Exactly the same. <laughs> That's kind of where I've gone in for. Brussels as well. You've gone there. Uh, you've gone over to the Netherlands there. Oh, OK. And Trevor? I think I'm in Germany, and I don't think it is Germany, but I've strategically put my X there because See in case it's Switzerland or somewhere like that. Yeah, so, oh, that's, so you yeah. get the so rest covering of a lot of Yeah, but after Rachel, <laughs> after Rachel bagged yeah. something about yeah. 500 yeah. miles away, so I you're thought in Germany. I'm, I might go for that. Yeah, so it's a question of, yeah, is it you never Brussels, know. Strasbourg, The exactly. Hague? It's all these names we hear a lot. It could be Switzerland. Yes. It could be Switzerland. Um, let's possibly. have a look, shall we? Where is the International Court of Justice? Who's got a point? It's yeah. in The Hague. Very well done. I'm going well to give done. a point to Rachel and Des yeah. there oh. in The Hague. Nicely played. And that's the end of that round. Tablets away, please, for the final oh. time. Ooh, Look at off our leaderboard, shall we? Been very close all week. We have one round to go before we give away our trophy. Trevor, you got five. Oh, I find Rachel, a way of getting there, you I? got six. Yeah. Des, you got seven. Ooh. Kimberly, you've got eight. Three points between the lot of you. Who's winning the luggage? Who's winning the trophy? Two questions to find out as we play our final round for the final time. Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers, please, for the last time. Point for a correct answer, point off for an incorrect answer. It all comes down to this. A week's worth of quizzing, a week's worth of answering. Who is winning the trophy? We are about to find out. Your first category is... Pans. Those will be the pictures. There'll be clues above. In golf, what word denotes the expected score for a first-class player on each hole? That's... Yes, that is Des. Parctic monkeys. Parctic monkeys. Well played. Oh. Par and Arctic monkeys. Well played, Des. Next one. Which pop singer, known for hits such as Poker Face and Born This Way, starred in the 2021 film House of Gucci? Yes, Kimberly. 
Lady Gar Garbage. Lady Gar Garbage <laughs> is the right answer. Lady Gar Gar and Garbage, Lady Gar Garbage. Next one. Which song, the finale of the musical Hairspray, won a People's Choice Award in 2008? Kimberly. You can't stop the Beatles. You can't stop the Beatles? It's the right answer. Well done. You can't stop the Beatles and the Beatles. You can't stop the Beatles. Next category. Berries. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Finally. Pictures will be berries. There'll be clues above. Which prison memoir by Piper Kerman was adapted into a TV series of the same name, first broadcast in 2013? Yes, Kimberly. Orange is the new Blackberry. Oh, Orange is the new Blackberry? Love that. Brilliant. Oh, look at this. What a performance, Kimberly. Oof. Next clue, next berry. The name of which biblical figure has become a term for an immoral woman? Kimberly. I should not have done that. Uh, <laughs> Jezebel Lingonberry. Jezebel Lingonberry? <laughs> it's not, I'm afraid. <laughs> I mean, nice try. Shall we find out? Jezebel de Berry. Oh, so it was Jezebel. I I, yeah. Jezebel de Berry, of yes. course. Lucky. Yeah. Next berry, next clue. What colour comes between blue and violet in the seven colours of the spectrum originally proposed by Isaac Newton? Yes, Des. Indigoji berry. Indigoji berry? It's the correct answer, Des. Well played, Indigoji berry. Next right. category. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That's interesting. Misery out of. That's I think interesting. Yeah. <laughs> misery <laughs> out of. <laughs> Kimberly losing a point there, Des getting a point right at the end. What do we think? Who's won the luggage? That's the first order of uh, business. And then who's won the trophy? Is it the same person? We'll find out, I suppose. The winner of Friday's House of Games is... It's going to be close, whoever it is. Kimberly Nixon by a point. Well done. Perfect. Your third win of the week. Congratulations. It means a third prize of the week as well. So are you taking home the luggage? I've got to go. I mean, can you imagine that coming out on the conveyor belt? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Imagine yeah, it. Yes, yes, I can. <laughs> so, so you're taking home the House of Games luggage? I'm going to go for the luggage. Well done. We have the small matter now of the trophy to give away. She was winning coming into today, and she's just won. Who's it going to be? <laughs> uh, the winner of a terrific week of House of Games. Well played, everyone. Three separate champions. Loads and loads of really good scoring. There can only be one winner. The winner is Kimberly Nixon. Congratulations, uh, Kimberly. Thanks. Guys. Well done. Terrific performance. Very well played. Well played, everyone. Terrific quizzing all week. There can only be one winner. It is Kimberly Nixon. Well done, Kimberly. Thank you all so much for playing. Thank you all so much for watching as well. This week's House of Games. Where are you going to put your trophy, Kimberly? Um, probably next to my bath. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.